Hi everyone, welcome to the I Am Shana cookbook. And of course you can log into IamShana.com for more recipes, articles. I mean, check out the blog, it's awesome. <laughs> Today we're gonna to be making Haitian pickles. Not Haitian coleslaw, not Haitian slaw, put some respect on it. It's called Haitian pickles. And these are the ingredients you're gonna need for that. Two cups of white vinegar, white cabbage, red cabbage, carrots, all shredded, hot pepper, clove, two minced garlic, and thyme. The full recipe de definitely go to IamShana.com. And you can search pickles. So right now I'm starting off cutting the hot peppers. Well, yeah, I know. I'm cutting it with my gloves on the wrong hand, of course. I know you guys would have picked up on that anyway. So as soon as I'm done with this pepper, I shall switch hands. You do not want to have your hands directly touch the peppers. In case you forget, you touch your eyes, you rub your nose or something, which you should not be doing while you're cooking, but that's a disaster. Anywho, so um, again, peppers. Hot peppers. Oh, there's one ingredient that is not on the table on the cut board, but is black whole black pepper, which I will be getting in a in a few minutes. So, but for now, let's just cut these hot peppers. Um, pickles is supposed to be spicy. It's supposed to be hot. So, I strongly suggest that you use hot pepper. It's just not the same without the hot pepper. But if you're one of those people who love pickle, but you don't like the fact that it's spicy, uh, you can stay away from it. It's not a sweet condiment. It's not one that's not supposed to not be hot. So, again. But then again, people are creative. If you can get it past, if you could you do it without the hotness, well, then by all means, do your do you. <laughs> So let's finish cutting up this hot pepper here. This is my least favorite part. But um and I'm very bad at cutting anything. I I'm I'm a great cook, but when it comes to cutting stuff, because I use both hands, I can't tell which one to whichever hands lift up first, that's the one I let do the job. I'm not left-handed. <laughs> so it just so happened to be that was the most comfortable hand for that task. Anyway, so you keep cutting. I just to make the video shorter, I pre-shred the carrots and the um, cabbage. By the way, you don't have to use the red cabbage. I use the red cabbage. I love the color that it gives after it sits and rests. So that's the only reason I use the red cabbage. But it, it's it's up to you. You don't have to use it. So the ingredients you see on the table actually um, is good for, uh, I think it was a 32 ounce glass jar. So yes, you definitely need to put this in a jar because the freshness will last much longer, of course. So yeah, so we're gonna continue cutting this, these peppers and all of this, Yeah. Whew. It's best if you, the smaller you make it, the better. But like I said, I'm not the greatest at cutting. The, the thinner, the better. And also I keep the, the top part of the, of the, of the hot pepper because I put it in a jar as well. Some people just like it. They like to, to, to hold it and dip it around, especially in fried fish or even um, um, any type of food. They just like to rub it on it. So it's, it's, so I just keep it there. As a matter of fact, after I'm making this actually for a dinner party and I might come back and share the, a little clip with you guys from the dinner party of how it was actually used on the table. Okay, so we're gonna 
almost done with this. We're done with this. Getting ready for the next task. Put that on the side. So you don't want the stem. So you that's you pull it off. You just take the actual leaves. And please use fresh thyme. Do not use, you know, dry thyme. It's not gonna work. And it won't be the same. You need the infusion, you know. In, so there it's only done with fresh. You only establish that with fresh thyme. It's not going to be perfect. You're not going to be able to, you know, get, get remove all the stems from it. But at least as much as you can, because you don't want all of that in the sitting in the jar. I hope I know I couldn't pull the camera close enough for you guys to see, but I hope you understand what I'm doing here. This is actually my least favorite part. And as, and as, for, as far as shredding the cabbage, the carrots, I use a regular um, four-sided shredder. And I use, um, I, first, first I cut the, the cabbage and the carrots and then I shred them. Or what you can actually do, a lot of um, grocery stores, supermarkets, they sell them already shredded but that's rare. You might, I don't know how often, or even if your neighborhood have it, but but next time you go to the grocery store, the food stand, the vegetable stand, or that, that um, section of the supermarket, look out for that, because a lot of them do caveat. But I rarely see it, but I do know I've seen it before they, they carry them. Yeah, so now I got, I'm putting all the, the cabbage, the carrots together, mixing them up. And then I'm going to throw the rest of the ingredients in there. I usually, this is easier done in a bowl, but I did not want to <laughs> use an extra bowl, just, you know, and having to throw it in a dishwasher. So I just use a plastic, but whatever floats your boat works, whatever works for you, you can use it. I had told you guys about the whole black pepper that I had forgotten, so I'm adding it um, right now. Can't get a clear view visual on that, but just so you know, it's whole black pepper. And that's the garlic, two garlic. See the way I'm working it with my hands? This would have been easier done with in a bowl. Put the thyme in there. And 
and the rest of the ingredients. Remember, I told you this is best kept fresh in a glass sealed jar. So now we have it, everything perfectly mixed. Now we're going to see what I did. I put the clove in the vinegar and the top of the red peppers that I tell told you that not to keep because people love that part. And this is the jar I'm using. So we're going to start putting everything in that jar. I know you've probably seen those jars. They, they, they sell them in the 99 cent stores. They sell them all over the place. So in there, if you buy them by case, which you might not have to, but I also put my apis in there too. It makes the apis last longer. That's another thing you need to understand. This jar, it's really good because it keeps things fresher and it lasts longer. So I know, yes, we're going to keep pushing. I know that I only have two cups of vinegar. There's a method to the, there's a, there's a method to the madness. It's because a lot of times when you make pickles, you end up with all the vinegar because the main ingredients are what people usually take out more. So, and what I do is I create, a, how you say that? I create a balance. So that way it keeps the freshness and trust me, I can't even explain the madness, but that's part of the keeping the freshness. You don't have to do overdo it. If you have a jar that size, all you need is two cup of vinegar, white vinegar. And when you, when I pour it, you'll see where it goes up to and why you don't have to. By the way, I just added a whole tablespoon of salt. So this is two cups of vinegar. If you feel like adding three cups, that's fine, but two cups works for me because like I said, it's a, por it's a portion balance type thing. So it works for me. But if you one of those who want to fill the jar up, that's, that's definitely up to you. There you go. So I'm I'm keep I keep shaking it because I'm trying to make you see the final color, but it might not. It, it usually comes after it rests overnight. Um, but you'll definitely I'll definitely share with you guys. Like I said, I'm going to um show you how it was served at my dinner party. That way you have a a better picture of it but see this is how the ingredients you keep shaking yeah keep shaking just to get a perfect mixture with the salt the clove the garlic the whole black pepper and the hot pepper itself cuz all of those is what I'm shaking to have you know balance the flavors balanced So this is it. Hope you enjoyed watching and don't forget to log on to imshana.com for more recipes.